everyone. I personally think this is the best way to start a video. Really just prepping the skin. Today, guys, we are going to be doing a full face of Wander Beauty. They sent over a nice little box of goodies for us to try out. So let's go ahead and get started. right into it we are starting off with these really cool eye patches which I can tell you this whenever you add a little extra moisture to the under eye guys your concealer your products are just gonna wear just that much better so these are Wander's baggage claim gold eye masks so as you can see, these are gold foiled. They help to nourish dull, tired, diminished skin. So they suggest that you leave these on for 10 to 15 minutes, remove and pat in whatever excess is left. I went ahead and gave it the full 15 minutes. I'm all here for all of the hydration I can get. Let's go ahead and remove these. Ooh, she looks nice and hydrated, doesn't she? I'm just patting in whatever's left. All right. I think I'm going to start on the eyes today first, and then we'll get into all of the other products. So they sent over the Wondrous Escape eyeshadow palette. And they included a little card in the palette. I'd like to quickly share this with you about this palette. And I think it's just that much more meaningful when you go about it in this way. Everything we do at Wander Beauty, from creating multitaskers to naming shades, is inspired by you, our community of Wander Beauties. That's why we decided to create Wondrous Escape a palette inspired by the memories of 10 members of the community. And you helped name the shades. I think that that's really beautiful and meaningful. And the fact that they did that was pretty awesome. So that's the little story behind this palette. I think the artwork is really pretty. Now the palette itself is fairly thin. So this palette is made of cardboard material. You open her up, you do get a mirror. It does fold all the way over. Here are the shades. And as you can see, I have been using this palette. So I can speak on it a little bit more rather than just giving you a first impression. Going into this sun-kissed shade, I'm going to apply that directly in the crease and we'll start off from there. The mattes in this palette blend really easily and they do build up. We'll talk more about this palette towards the end, so stay tuned. But I am going to go into the darkest shade from the palette and I'm going to apply that in the crease and on the outer eye just to build a little bit more dimension. Now with this palette I find that you can definitely go in and create all matte looks. You don't necessarily have to apply any of the more special or glittery shades. So you have options with this palette. You're not stuck with just creating the same types of look and always having to use a glitter. Going into the shade Nude Beach, we have to put that as a little brow bone highlight. This is the lightest shade from the palette. But this shade, you can also use it to blend out any harsh edges. So I'm applying the shade Flourish, just a dry brush on the lid. I'm just going to take my time and build that shade up a little bit. I feel applying it with the brush, it's a little bit more sheer. It's a softer application and it looks really pretty. Now with the same brush, I'm going into the shade Daydream. 
little bit on the goldy side. I will apply that on the inner portion and let's kind of blend the two colors together. Yeah, it's nice and soft and it's pretty. So they sent over two of their foundations. They're the Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. These are described as a weightless fluid foundation formulated for full coverage with a natural radiant finish. It's got a doe foot applicator and it delivers seamless coverage. It's enriched with niacinamide and lotus flower to help with the skin's radiance. Let me two shades. I'm going to use one to more so highlight my face. I am going to color correct really quickly. I'm just going to focus this on the center of my face. More so focus it where I need it. And I'm going to blend it with a sponge. Now what I find with this formula is it is really thin and light in texture, but it gives good coverage. And it feels very lightweight on the skin as well. Now before I go in with concealer, I just want to show you how it looks on the skin. And that was just one small layer and I just focused it on the center portion of my face. And then I blended it with my sponge. I'm going to put a little of my normal concealer. They do have a concealer. I just don't have it. So I'm going to apply my normal concealer. Go in with the On The Glow. Blush and Illuminator. One side is blush in the shade Berry Whisper and the highlights in the shade Nude Glow. Starting off with the blush, I am going to apply it to my sponge. I like applying my cream product with my sponge. I find it to kind of blend a little smoother and not be as harsh. It gives such a pretty glow on the skin. So that was the blush portion. It was quite pigmented, but I was able to blend it into the skin so nicely. Let's go over to the highlighter. I'm gonna go on to my sponge as well. Oh my gosh. Wow. What a beautiful glow. Now for me, this is a lot of glow and I want to just dust a little bit of powder over it very lightly because this is just too much. It's too much. This is my By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. This is a hydrating powder. I'm taking a very loosely packed fluffy brush and I'm going to lightly apply this all over the face to set everything because I want my creams to stay in place. But with this powder in particular, I'm not going to lose too much of my glow, but I'm also going to be setting everything in place. So I still want that dewy skin-like look, but I wanna take it down just a few notches and make sure everything's set in place. I went ahead and applied just a little bit of my own bronzer that was not Wander. So let's go ahead and finish up these eyes really quick. I'm going to go into the darkest shade and apply that on my lower lash line. Went into this Enchanted shade as well. This is the Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. Three-in-one mascara that volumizes while instantly lengthening and lifting the lashes. And so the formula is supposed to condition and nourish my lashes. And the wand is pretty interesting. So let's give her a try. Okay. Got a little lift and separation and volume. I'm going to build it just a little bit. Let's see. I do like the wand. It does a good job at separating. 
and just allowing the product to be coated to your lashes. Okay, those are two coats. All right, so the mascara is pretty nice. So I've worn the mascara a couple of times and I haven't had any issues with flaking or smudging or anything like that. So for the most part, I think it's a nice mascara. They sent over the Lip Retreat Oil. Comes in this little tube and it has a little wand applicator and it's clear. So what I'm actually gonna do, just to pull the look together nicely, I'm gonna take the blush and illuminator stick I'm gonna go into the blush end. I'm gonna apply a little bit of the blush onto my lips. And then what I'll do now is go over that lip retreat oil, which is described as a luxurious lip loving treatment oil with the shine of a gloss. Okay. Now I'm not going to apply this directly. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. That way I don't ruin the applicator. And just apply it with my finger over top. Nice and simple, right? Looks like this are so soft and pretty where your skin is glowing and just minimal, but just pretty. I love the modernness of this line where you don't need a ton of product to achieve a very nice complexion, a little look on the eyes, nice lashes, and a little something comfortable on the lips. Quick, sophisticated, and realistic makeup. That's what I can tell you right away off the bat about Wander Beauty. I like the glow that the foundation gives, and I love how light and thin it is in texture for the eyeshadow palette. It's definitely very soft, very realistic, very easy to grab and create a look. I love that you have little fun pops with the shimmering glimmer shades, but even so, they're not over the top. They're very soft. See how I was able to kind of get a softer deposit with the brush, but you do have the option of going in with your finger and creating more intensity if you wanted to. So I think it's a nice palette. It performs well overall. Um, the special, the special shades, the glittery, glimmery shades are a little chunky in texture, but once they go on the lid, they're very smooth. I think the mascara applies and the few times that I've tried it so far has worn fairly well. It does a great job at separating, lifting, and allowing your lashes to look nice and pretty. Nothing too crazy. I mean, you know, the eye masks, those are a hit for me. It's great to prep. It's all about good skin, and those eye patches are really, really nice. They were nice and hydrating, and I like the gold. I do like the gold. The blush and highlighting stick was really nice. It's very glowy on the skin, and I do set it with just a little bit of powder, and it does well, it wears well, it's light, it's really pretty. This allows you to put yourself together quite effortlessly because you don't need too much. These products allow you to look good and feel good. So I really like everything that I've tried so far. Let me know your thoughts. Have you ever tried anything from Wander Beauty? I have heard of them, but I've never dabbled into the line. So I'm really grateful that they reached out and sent me these products. I'll have everything listed and linked down below for you. A special thank you to Wander Beauty for sending these products over for me to try and to share with you guys. And thank you so much for watching. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.